Hello, today we're going to show you how to paint a Welsh dragon. Here's one I've done on my arm earlier to show you what we're going to be doing. I've used Snazaru Red and Paradise Black and a Da Vinci number no. 6 brush. First we're going to start off with the red paint and paint the red parts of the dragon. I've started off with the dragon's tongue because uh, that seems to be the easiest way for me to do it but you can start anywhere else you like I'm then building up the shape of the dragon's mouth around its tongue and then going down onto its body and there we are I've done the tail and I'm now outlining the wings you can make the dragon larger or smaller depending on uh, what area of the body you're going to be painting on not forgetting to paint the dragon's four legs the back legs of a dragon are always thicker than the front legs this dragon has three forward facing toes on each foot and one back facing toe I was painting the feet from the claws inwards trying to get a nice point on the end of the toe and uh, don't forget to check whether you've missed any parts of the dragon or if you can see through any of it I'm now moving on to the paradise black and again rolling the brush to get a nice sharp point so that you can outline the dragon very thinly um, I'm using the da Vinci number no. 6 because it holds a lot more paint so you don't have to keep going back to refill your brush um, here I'm doing the dragon's jawline don't forget to put that in and the dragon also has an eye and it also has two ears the second ear is the one closest to you I'd forgotten to um, add the spikes along the back of the dragon's neck so I'd added them in there and then this is a very furry dragon so it's got quite a lot of detail on the front of its neck and the front of each leg so if you get to outline all of the claws the fur underneath and not forgetting the back leg comes in front of the third leg and also in front of the tail and the dragon has two wings I've outlined the back wing first and then I've 
gone inside that line to outline the front wing and then the wings overlap the body as you can see and then I've done ribs coming in from the points of each wing to the back line and there's your finished dragon